All right, good morning, folks. It's DA Micebreaker for Thursday, March 15th. I hope you guys are having a great morning and you're setting yourself up to have a great day. And if not, get on that. Figure out what, uh, I don't know, figure out one thing that can make you, if not productive, at least happy. Think of one thing that you can do in the next hour that would, that would get you get you on a good path for the rest of the day and uh, get, get to that. You know, I mean, sometimes that's that's what it's all about. And that's kind of what I want to talk about today is, uh, is trusting the process. I was... Um, I think it was an episode of Mixed Mental Arts, you guys know that's uh, Brian Callen and Friends Podcast. It's really good. It's, um, I, I probably I probably started watching that more than Rogan recently. Um, I don't know. I just I, I like I like his guests and, and his conversations a little better, but uh, I'll try and find which episode this was. It was, it was one with, uh, he was on Andy Galpin and a few other folks. And, um, you know, I think we all know that recovery, for example, has become a really big thing. Recovery and mobility, you know, we're, we're trying to find all these... Uh, I don't know. We're always trying to find like whatever the magic training bullet is, and it's funny because you know my buddy John Russell said the other day, um, you know, mobility has become this weird catch-all kind of you know bullshit cure-all thing, and I, I feel like recovery is is probably going to be that next. I and mean, we've seen some pretty crazy things. I mean, there's definitely recovery tactics that I think are awesome, but I think uh, I think that's kind of the next area where we're going to start seeing some some uh, fitness-related snake oil, but. Um, so it goes. But anyway, um, you, you know, so, so someone was asking Galpin about uh, best recovery methods, and, and Galpin had a great answer. His, al- his answer was, uh, well, what, are you, what are you actually recovering from? You know, maybe, maybe you don't need to actively recover. Maybe you need to just, maybe you need to just adapt and see what happens. You know, let your body kind of just deal with it. And, you know, obviously that's also not a catch-all answer, but it's, you know, it's, it's something to think about. And that's... Um, and, and what that kind of leads into is that, is that idea of, of trusting the process, you know, like sometimes, sometimes you've done what you're supposed to do, you know, you've done, you've done laid the foundation, you've done your homework, um, you know, you've started taking the steps and sometimes you gotta just, you gotta just keep going. Sometimes you gotta just, I don't, I don't like to say you gotta just let things, let things happen because, because that, that does kind of smack a little bit of, you know, lack of control, victimness, but, um, you know, I think sometimes you just got to, yeah, you just got to push push the play button and, and just go with it. And, you know, I'll, of course, always be ready to course correct, always be ready to take advantage of new information and new research if it's relevant. You know, you remember, you don't have to, you don't have to act. I mean, again, trust the process. You don't have to act on everything all the time right away. And, um, and just see what happens. You know, I'm actually, I'm actually interested in that. You know, that's, uh, I mean, I'm probably going to, at least always do some little mobility work just to get back to specifics because that just feels good and uh, I need mobility work but you know maybe um maybe I don't need eight hours eight to ten hours of sleep maybe I don't always need to have my 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 post-workout you know I mean I think I think that's one of those things that you know, I'm gonna see I'm gonna see how I feel from now on for probably like the next month and if I, if I feel like I need something, all right. If I don't, you know, we're just gonna keep seeing, seeing what happens. I mean, it's kind of like when I did that dry fast, that seventy-two hour dry fast. It was one of those, you know, it it just kind of kept feeling like something was working, so I just kind of kept doing it. So, and I learned a lot from that. So, yeah, that's that's what I got. Uh, it's been fun. Leave me a question. Leave me a comment, and uh, we'll be talking. Cheers.